Psychologist geophysicist. We based our understanding and interpretation of the subsurface on underlying facts, reasons and correlations. Most of the time machine learning solutions provides us with the results as they are without any reasoning why. And today I'm going to uncover some of the methods that I use in geoscience with a team that won EEG hackathon on explainable AI. They specifically discuss ML solutions for generating porous media and salt identification. Without further ado, here is the interview. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Here is the team that won EEG hackathon on explainable AI. The team consists of students from Kaos in Saudi Arabia. They are Abdullah Al Ali and Randy Hashikor, are members of Seismic Wave Analysis Group supervised by Tariq Al Khalifa, Miguel Corrales, and Daniel Reascas, working with Deep Imaging Group organized by Matteo Ravasi. And the first question why did you decide to participate in this hackathon? Well, we decided to participate in this hackathon because most of our work is related with machine learning and we have no previous knowledge about explainable artificial intelligence. So we decided to take this challenge in order to learn and also to try to understand what the model is looking at. That's indeed. I recently met a lot of people from CALS that do machine learning in geospace. Anyway, what is the geoscience problem that you are trying to tackle? So we were looking for either a twin a model or a well-known problem and has been widely discussed and we know for sure that it will work. So we settled into two problems. The first one is a GAN that can create the porous media, which is a part of uh, Miguel's work. So we have the model already trained. And the second is a salt segmentation problem, which is widely known. And uh, you can find easily the models in uh, PGS uh, salt, salt challenge. It is fascinating that you were chosen to explain segmentation and image generation. And the TGS Salt Identification Challenge is a famous one on Kaggle. They have many solutions to play around with. So the main question is then, how did you include the explainability in those two problems? All right, let me have this question. Uh, so let's just start uh, with the very first problem, uh, porous generation. Uh, problem we actually focus into the discriminator and we want to learn the, what, what the discriminator learns so we use what they call a post hoc methods which basically applied into an already trained model we use the uh, captain library which is built uh, in PyTorch and it has so many of these methods that you could just use and uh, apply to your already trained model basically picks the salinity maps and the occlusion maps and looks into what this method learns and surprisingly, both kind of learn something uh, uh, contradicting. So for the salinity map, it learns to focus into the pachygram, not into the porous itself, while the salinity focus into the roundness for the porous and how uh, these uh, predictions are uh, getting. For the second problem, uh, we trained the model from the beginning. So we, we, we use attention maps inside the model. Uh, uh, we, of course, in the salt identification, we used UNIT, which is uh, very common to use. And the attention maps are in the SCAP connection layer. Uh, so while training, we look into these attention maps. So for example, the very deepest layer focused into the general picture, which is the coarse kind of uh, features of the image or the seismic image, while the very shallow one looks into uh, the reflectors or the boundaries between the layer. And that's how you how we include the explainability into the two problems that we have. And the last question, what do you think about the future of explainable AI in geoscience? Is there the end of black box AI applications? All right, so XAI or explainable AI uh, helps in understanding what a model is doing under the hood. So as a ge geoscientist, this serves as, as uh, two things for us. First is that we can compare to our knowledge to the problem about the physics or the nature of the problem. And secondly, we can also use this to optimize our model. Uh, well, I personally think uh, at, we, we need to utilize this a little bit more and uh, try it in different uh, uh, the, in, the, in the different problems that we have because we have variety of problems, classification, segmentation, uh, uh, time series. And I'm pretty sure that explainability will add up 
to the prediction. Uh, in the future, uh, explainable AI should be used as a tool to corroborate what the model is doing. But not just applying explainable AI, I think is enough. I think we need to find what kind of explainable AI method should be used in each problem. So not every method could be used. I think we also need to become that knowledge uh, to later on using more geoscience programs. Definitely in the future, I believe that there will be uh, more explainability and interpretability brought into or included into the AI uh, problem that we see nowadays. That's it for the interviewer. I'd like to congratulate the team once more for winning the hackathon. And if you are interested in learning more about explainable AI applied to other geoscience problems, I have very good video for you in here where I talk about explainable AI applied to seismic fish identification.